terror has once again blackened our skies and broken our hearts. We mourn the loss of innocent life in Mumbai and we extend our prayers for a complete and speedy recovery to all those who have been wounded in this horrible ordeal. As Chabadniks, we are seared by the loss of two of our finest, Rabbi Gavriel Nawach and Rebetzin Rivka Holtzberg, Chabad representatives in Mumbai who were among the brutally murdered. Like Abraham and Sarah, the first Jews, they left their birthplace to travel to a far and distant place, offering their legendary hospitality to all. A certified shachet, Gabby slaughtered 200 chickens weekly, and Rivki and her staff cooked and prepared over 800 kosher meals each week, creating a Jewish haven in this seaside city. They spent their days teaching and listening, sharing their homes, and themselves with all who crossed their paths. We remember them today in the words of those who knew and loved them. In 2003, shortly after their marriage, Gabi and Rivka heeded the call of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson of blessed memory, and cheerfully gave up all the comforts of home and family in a very short time, their home and center became a thriving hub of goodness and kindness as they dispensed their blend of gracious open-heartedness to the local Jewish community and to thousands of tourists and business people who frequented Morambai. Gabby would get visibly excited to have so many guests for Shabbat. You could tell it really made his week. He would have a grin on his face almost the entire meal he was always so eager to create a communal feeling that he insisted everyone go around the table and share a few words. He had a devilish smile. You could really see the child in him just beneath the surface. Rivki was a certified sweetheart. She'd talk to the girls about the challenges of keeping kosher in India and share exciting new finds at the market together. You could tell she was far from home but she was tough and really made the best of it. That was Rivki. Brave, fun-loving, super sweet. In mid-December 2005, I found myself in Mumbai with two other friends as travelers. Within minutes of noticing us, Rabbi Holtzberg was asking us our names, and we were soon invited back to the Chabad house. Rabbi Holtzberg made it perfectly clear to us that we were welcome to join him and his family for dinner every night that we were in Mumbai, and if we wanted to stop by during the day to learn with him, we could. At no point was there ever any judgment from him or his wife because we weren't religious or could not speak fluent Hebrew as most of the visitors through the Chabad house do. It was evenings like that one where complete strangers came together as Jews that made us really appreciate who we are as a people. My first bout with Bombay Belly happened upon arriving at their home for a Shabbos meal and Rifki lovingly nursed me. I was always impressed with Rifki's ability to take Indian ingredients and turn them into traditional Shabbos table meals. My regular visits with her helped me feel grounded and rooted in the everyday madness of Mumbai. Gabi's knowledge of Torah and Jewish thought was obviously extensive and I was inspired by his scholarship and the quiet joy he brought to the Shabbos table. She's always ready to help to cook and gives lots of classes for women at the Chabad House of Mumbai. There is no other couple like them. They did so much for strangers. I am from Israel, but work most of my time in Mumbai. I stayed with Gabi and Rivki so often, they feel like my own children. Moshe reminds me of my own 18-month-old grandson. I went to the market with Rivki on quite a few occasions. We spent hours talking. Rivki told me a lot about her family, and I know she loved them very much. I've had quite a few friends die, and I asked Rivki why God would allow such tragedies to occur. She told me, when you have faith, you believe God puts a challenge in front of you and tests your faith. Sometimes you may not understand why things happen, but that does not mean you should lose faith.
He was the finest and nicest gentleman that you can imagine. A real mensch. We're going to miss him very dearly. He was a very, very special person, him and his wife. were very, very special people. As we join close to 15,000 JLI participants in 300 cities worldwide in dedicating tonight's study to their loving memory, we encourage all within our JLI family to combat terror with love and darkness with light and invite you to perpetuate the legacy of Rabbi and Rebbitz and Holtzberg by undertaking a mitzvah on their behalf. May their memory be blessed.